Large sheets and mountains of ice are those things that can be either mesmerizing or terrifying, and that's the case with this next list, because not only does ice keep your frozen vegetables frozen in the freezer, but they also help to preserve things in history. When they're discovered, they're often nearly intact, creating such a portrait of what the world used to look like way back when. As marvelous as those things can be, they can also be rather frightening to look at. With the mammoth on the slab under hot lights, the team has to work quickly. But we're gonna look at them anyway, because today we'll show you 15 of the most incredible things found frozen in ice. Number 15. It's a sight like nothing else. If you were to approach this Alaskan shoreline, you might get a little spooked. From a distance, it would look like a bunch of people standing in the snow. And then upon closer inspection, you'd see that they had no faces and weren't wearing any clothes. Because in all reality, they're just a dozen statues. Rather haunting statues. So what's this all about? There are five sculptures on point warns off right near Anchorage, Alaska. They're part of an art installation that's dedicated to those suffering from mental illness and trauma. Unfortunately, dozens of them have been damaged because of the harsh winter conditions. And because of this damage, they leave the statues looking even creepier than they were before. It's a nice sentiment towards what the statues were dedicated to, but perhaps they didn't think it through as to what they'd look like left out in the harsh weather conditions of Alaska. The sculptures were made of straw, cement, and plaster, and it was molded around burlap-covered human models. This is why they take on such a realistic look, and they're also very realistic in the sense that they're modeled after the people that they were installed for, meaning that each statue was modeled after someone with mental illness. Here's the hoping that the statues survive a little bit more even if they are a tad bit creepy from afar. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly! Number 14. Yucca Mammoth Everyone loves to talk about dinosaurs and wonders about what they would look like back in the day. Well, scientists were able to do just that when they met Yucca, the 39,000-year-old mummified woolly mammoth. That's a pretty old mammoth and it's one of the best preserved mammoths in history. According to paleontologists in Japan, it was finally placed on public display for a short period. This was in stark contrast to where it was found in the Siberian permafrost. Despite being frozen in ice for 39,000 years, the mammoth was about 6 to 11 years old when she died. Finding her age wasn't the only thing that they found. They were also able to extract flowing blood from yucca. This was one of the first times scientists were able to extract blood from something frozen for so long. And this was because the scientists believed that the mammoth's blood contained some sort of natural antifreeze. But it doesn't even stop there. South Korean scientists have now signed a deal, giving them the right to attempt to clone the mammoth. This was first done with dogs, but there are some doubts when it comes to being able to clone something like this. Only time will tell if they're going to be able to clone the real-life mammoth. Until then, we'll just marvel at Yucca. Number 13. Ancient Skis How old are your skis? Everyone has an old pair of skis in their attic somewhere. But we can probably bet that we found an even older pair than yours, because it was the oldest ever set of skis being discovered in Norway, shocking archaeologists just recently. What they found exactly was a 1,300-year-old ski trapped in the ice. Who would have known that people skied that long ago? It just so happened to be the matching ski from the one found in 2014 that completes the oldest known set in our history. It was back in 2014 when the Secrets of the Ice Research Program had stumbled upon a very well-preserved ski in the melting ice of Norway. What they discovered about it was that it didn't come from Kmart, but instead it dated back to the Viking Age, maybe even before then. They knew this was a ski because it also included a foot binding. It was a rare find back then, and when they found the matching ski, they were elated. Since 2014, finding researchers had monitored the ice patch. All they wanted was to find that second ski, and since discovering it, they coined it as an unbelievable find. But one question that we have is, why did the person leave their skis there in the first place? Number 12. Icy Battlefield it's been somewhat alarming to many people just how much the ice around the world has been melting. There doesn't seem to be much doubt that the climate is changing.
but when that ice melts, underneath is revealed to be new impressive finds. It's usually new land that we get to learn about when the ice melts. But sometimes when the ice melts, there are things that we find that we could never have anticipated. Over in the Italian Alps, a melting glacier has revealed something just like that. They were found in Italy's 10,000 plus foot Monte Scorluzzo. The huge mountain sits above the Stelvio Pass in the Italian Alps. Over the years, the snow has been reduced by 40%. That's around 6 meters of thickness per year. Because of the ice melting, archaeologists found a bunker that was dug into the mountain. They learned that the bunker was built by Austro-Hungarian soldiers in 1915, and because the artifacts that were found inside of it were buried deep, they were relatively well preserved. History can sometimes be forgotten, but it can also be remembered. Number 11. 1950s Plane As we travel through this list, we learn that ice has acts as a preservation tool for many things throughout history. This next one comes from an Alaskan plane crash that happened in 1952. There was an effort to scour the glacier to find the remains of that plane crash and this all began in 2012. What they found were human remains and a Buddha figure. More specifically, it was a lucky Buddha figurine. In addition to those findings, they found the flight suit, several three-cent stamps, a crumpled 1952 mass schedule for St. Patrick's Church in Washington, D.C., and an astonishing 480 bags containing individual human remains. As we said, ice can preserve things. The glacier that they found this all from was the Colony Glacier in Alaska. This search would happen annually, where those searching would look for human remains and debris from a military plane that crashed around 67 years ago. The goal of this annual search was to identify and return remains from everyone that was on board that flight. On record, it killed 41 passengers and 11 crew members. From the looks of it, though, the search has turned up things little by little, and hopefully, one day they'll find everything they're looking for. Because they couldn't search when the plane had initially gone down because it had fallen down the mountain and into the glacier, the remnants sat idle for a very long time until people picked up the search in 2012. Only time will tell how much they find next year. Number 10. Nuclear Submarine it's a military exercise like no other. We all knew that submarines were capable of amazing things. They are machines that can withstand the craziness that happens underneath the ocean surface. And that's not an easy task. What's also not an easy task is breaking through Arctic ice. In this video, you can see a submarine doing just that. And this is nothing new. It's been going on for around 70 plus years. The US Navy pulls off this exercise to learn more about polar expeditions. This latest operation was part of the ICE Exercise 2018. It's a biennial exercise, and it may look fun and easy, but it's rather difficult, because you can't just plunge through the ice anywhere that you may want to. It's got to be strategic. There's a laundry list of steps to come beforehand to make sure that there's not only a suitable location, but there's some open water behind it as well. One small mistake, there could be catastrophic results. The submarines can accomplish this through the side scan sonar, conductivity, temperature, and pressure detectors, and even submarine remote video systems. In a way, the drivers are blind and have to rely on all different types of tech to be able to see what's going on. As cool as that sounds, it seems like that's something that should always be left to the pros. Number 9. Ancient Flower Maybe this next one will give us some more insight into how one can come back to life after being frozen. If plants can do it, why not humans? That all relates to a plant that was frozen for 30,000 years, and now since the ice had melted, they're back to life. It's safe to say that they're zombie plants. Coming out of Russia, scientists have grown plants from fruit that had been stored away in permafrost by squirrels about 30,000 years ago. This fruit was found on the banks of the Kalima River in Siberia. This happens to also be a site where people frequently look for mammoth bones. The people behind this came from the Institute of Cell Biophysics. Before they were able to pull this feed off, the record holder for something coming back to life after being stored for a long time had been 2,000 years in Israel. Those were palm seeds that had been stored. This time around, the scientists found around 70 squirrel hibernation barrels on the riverbank. That's where they were able to pull out their amazing find. Next time someone throws out the flowers you give them, tell them about how long they can last. All you need is some Siberian ice and maybe some genius scientists, of course. Number 8. Woolly Rhino We've spoken a lot about woolly mammoths on this list, but now we move on to the woolly rhino. 
An adolescent woolly rhino with hazel-colored fur has been found preserved in Siberian permafrost, and it was there for around 40,000 years. But now, since climate change, it's finally thawed out. Some statistics about this thawed-out woolly rhino were the extinct animal was pretty well fed. Scientists believe that he might have died after getting stuck in a swamp and unfortunately drowned. The exact date of its death is still pretty unknown. There's only a roundabout estimation of how long it was preserved. But scientists put it in a ballpark of around 25,000 to 40,000 years ago. This animal was found in the region of Yakushia. It was discovered pretty intact with teeth, a horn, a beautiful hazel fur, and this type of woolly rhinoceros was common back in the last ice age in Europe. They went fully extinct around 14,000 years ago. Once again, thanks to ice, we can see what animals looked like thousands of years ago. Number 7. Alien Eggs Most of us have one of those friends that loves conspiracy theories about aliens, and lately, there's been a lot of talk in the news about aliens and UFOs coming in contact with the US military. It's definitely been a hot subject, and it's the next one on our list of fuels not fire as we get into something even rarer than a flying saucer. Alien Eggs Two friends had been left scratching their heads when they discovered a mysterious mass right on top of a frozen lake in Utah. Their first assumption was, of course, alien eggs. Lucky for us, the pair began to film the giant object and then even started to poke it with their fingers. You can see in the video that they said that they had a slimy texture. The mass itself was a perfectly circular shape. The shape had some small holes that seemed to radiate from the center. This video can be found on YouTube by an uploader named Jason Nielsen. Today it has more than 11,000 views. Jason went on to explain that he and his buddy did not take any samples because there were just too many possibilities as to what it could be. But judging from the comments, everyone seems to have their answers for what it is. Some even pointed out that it might be made by a coffee spill. In any case, just looking at the footage is definitely seeming like it's something out of this world. But hey, maybe aliens do have coffee up there. Number 6. Pants Parking Sometimes it's not what you find in a glacier that stands out most in history. Sometimes they're just incidents that make you scratch your head or stare. Take for example using frozen pants to save your parking spot. That's what one West Ridge man did by placing frozen pants on city streets just to make sure no one took his favorite parking spots. And social media had a lot to say. Coming right out of Chicago, there are a lot of people talking about this next one. A man named Adam Selzer had been apparently freezing pants so that they can stand stiff and upright. It's his way of calling for parking. That sounds like a lot of effort just to make sure that you have somewhere in the park, but the truth of the matter is that it's only half true. Adam says that he does it just to get popular on social media. And he does it for photos. But with that being said, people have been driving by and wondering just what was going on when they saw this pair of frozen pants holding parking spots. It's quite a sight to be seen. and almost looks like an invisible man is wearing pants. These pants even went viral during the Northeast Polar Vortex. The next thing this man says that he's going to do is try his technique with shirts. We just hope that he washes these clothes after he's done. Number 5. The Dead Zone if this list has proved anything so far, it's that the ice can preserve history. It can help us to understand what's happened in history and what has existed in the past. It's like an outlet of knowledge, and as much as we can learn from it, there are also times when we just can't understand what's being pulled from the ice, and Antarctica experts are having that problem. They're baffled by what they're calling the dead zone. Even microbes cannot exist there. Researchers went on an expedition to Antarctica when they were stunned to discover that there was a region of the icy continent that was so void of life that it might even be considered the most lifeless place on Earth. Because on the rest of the planet, there are millions of microbes. With those microbes are things called nematodes. Almost everywhere you go, you can find these. Even digging through soil, you'll probably find some bugs. But when you hit Antarctica's trans-Antarctic mountains, there's literally no life. They couldn't even find any microbial DNA. This led them to think that this may be a mistake while looking over the region, but then they try it again and still, no life to be found. This place has been around millions of years and still no life. These swords were collected during a January 2018 expedition. The conditions in the Antarctic had reached a chilling negative 17 degrees Celsius. Perhaps that's why there isn't any life there. But still, it's a crazy occurrence that scientists are still scratching their heads over. If you ask us, 
We're going to stay on the side where there's life hanging around. Number 4. Virus Glacier Nowadays, the last thing that anyone wants to hear is the word virus. Viruses are terrible things that seem to be a common occurrence. They can even make the world come to a halt. So why on earth would any scientist want to extract one? This is exactly what scientists did by extracting a 15,000-year-old virus from the Tibetan glacier. No worry, they had a good reason to do so. The researchers had said that the ancient pathogens are pretty unlikely to cause any human harm, and a whopping 28 out of the 33 viruses that they found were new to science. Now that's a discovery. Because the glaciers were formed gradually, the dust and gases were trapped inside, and this led to viruses being deposited in that ice. The glacier that's been studied for these viruses is known as Guglia, and the researchers collected samples from its 22,000-foot summit in 2015. There wasn't much known about this ice before the study, but they walked away with a whole new appreciation for how viruses get stuck in ice caps. After this, we wouldn't blame you for not wanting to touch ice ever again. Number 3. Boiling Water We move on to one that isn't technically something being found in ice, but rather what you can do with ice that's pretty cool. You might have seen the trend online where you can boil water, throw it up in the air, and it creates a cloud. Not just any air, air that's near freezing. What's mesmerizing about this is that it usually happens when you take a cup of boiling water and throw it up in the air outside. It'll go straight to the ground, but when there are near freezing temperatures, that's not the case. It creates a scene that looks like it's out of Harry Potter. It almost always looks like you're creating snow. It's become a popular thing to put online because no two times are alike, and these videos tend to go viral every single winter. So how does this exactly happen? There needs to be two conditions met before you can make this water into mesmerizing water vapor. And don't worry, it's not complex. The water should be boiled at 100 degrees Celsius, and the temperature outside should be very cold. And by very cold, we mean in the range of negative 20 to negative 30 degrees Celsius. That's zero degrees Fahrenheit. We would much prefer to stay inside with some hot chocolate, but if you find yourself bored enough to do this, grab a cup of boiling water and have some fun. Just be careful. Number 2. Doomsday Seed Vault Have you ever wondered what happens if you just run out of apple seeds? Does the world go void of apples? Maybe you haven't thought about something like this, but some scientists do think about this all the time, because if the world were to go void of certain seeds, then the balance would be totally thrown off. That's why there's the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, and it's exactly what it sounds like. What this place is exactly is a secure backup facility for the world's crop diversity on the Norwegian island of Spitsbergen and the remote Arctic Svalbard archipelago. This giant vault and facility provides long-term storage of duplicates of seeds conserved in gene banks. This insurance that the world's food supply against the loss of seeds and gene banks doesn't go mismanaged. You never technically have to worry about running out of seeds with this facility. It's a highly regulated place, and it costs around $45 million just on construction alone. Gene banks sometimes lose samples which can happen because of mismanagement, accident, equipment failure, and even natural disasters. You would think that this doesn't happen often, but it happens pretty regularly. War and civil strife also cause this to happen. Luckily for us, someone is watching over the seeds and will always have things like apples and oranges readily available. Number 1. Frozen Alligators We've already covered some frozen woolly mammoths and even some frozen woolly rhinoceroses, and now we turn our list to some frozen alligators. That's right, we move on to a bunch of frozen gators with their noses sticking up out of the water. This one's actually kind of sad though, because some alligators in North Carolina went into a deep freeze during a blast of winter cold that gripped the region. The gators were just swimming at the Swamp Park in Ocean Isle Beach like any other day, and unfortunately, they were frozen with their noses sticking out of the icy water. They had their noses up so that they could breathe, but that was no match for the icy conditions. It almost looks like a scene out of the movie The Shining at the end. One of the park managers had said that around 18 American alligators at the park had frozen, and they stayed frozen all day long. It also seems like these alligators had a sense that when the water was about to freeze to stick their noses up. But here's the best part. Once the alligators thawed, they were perfectly fine. That's right, they froze and they lived. This is because alligators are cold-blooded reptiles and they go into a state of what's called brumation. It's kind of like a state of hibernation, but for reptiles. Now that's a story with a happy ending, and it's not even a load of crack. Ice can be an amazing thing. 
Most of the time, we just put it in our glasses to chill our water or keep our drinks frozen. But now we know that ice can have a bigger role in history. It can freeze seeds, it can sense alligators into a reptile hibernation, and it can show us what woolly mammoths looked like thousands of years ago. So the next time you put some ice in your glass, show some appreciation for the thing that's a history book all to itself. And remember, if you happen to go outside and throw the boiling water up in the air, make sure that no one's walking by because boiling water feels a lot different than ice does. But we probably don't have to tell you that.